Everybody knows about Google Webmaster Tools. Well, not everybody, but not everybody knows about Bing Webmaster Tools. In this video, I'm going to tour you on Bing and show you some of the really cool features of Bing Webmaster Tools. So once you set up Bing Webmaster Tools, you can use it to help you get to the top of the search engines like Bing or Google. Let's get started. All right, so welcome back. We're going to do a quick little tour of Bing Webmaster Tools, and I've blogged all this. You can click on the link in the video uh, description and get over to a little blog post with all the links for you. So the whole concept is that Bing tries a bit harder than Google does, and their Webmaster Tools have some features that Google does not. So you really want to set up both uh, when you're working on your SEO uh, project. So first of all, let's just talk about basic setup. So the first thing you'll need to do is you've got to set up a Microsoft account. Usually the easiest way to do this is to set up a Hotmail. So I'm going to just click over here and look at that. Um, you're going to sign up for, we'll let that load there, You basically fill this out and you sign up for a Microsoft account just like you'd have a Google account. That's the first step. So sign up for your Microsoft account. That's step one. Then step two, once you've signed up, and it's easier to do that first, then once you've signed up for a Microsoft account, then you're going to sign, uh, you're going to go to this link and you're going to go to Bing Webmaster Tools. And then there, basically, you're going to sign in now that you've done the sign up to the Microsoft account. So now we're going to sign into my Bing uh, account here and I'm going to go in Webmaster Tools. So then you're going to add your site up here, and the first thing you'll have to do is add some codes. You've got to follow the instructions uh, to add the code to your website. If you're using the Yoast plugin for WordPress, they make it very easy. You just put that code into Yoast, and it will do the verification for you. Then at that point, you've verified your website. So I'm going to drill in here and take a look at some of the, the things you want to do uh, inside of Bing that are really good. So once you log in, you see your website, it gives you some information. Our traffic is way down because it's the summertime and we're not really working real, real hard right now. But any rate, so you see your stuff. Now over here on the left, this is where you want to sort of go exploring. Configure my sites. So let's just go through these really quickly. So on the left hand side, you'll see sitemaps. Google and Bing both really like websites that have XML sitemaps. So just like Bing, you can, or just like Google, you can submit your sitemap, and that's a little, you know, tiny benefit um, to getting yourself uh, featured on Bing. Bing has a nice feature over here on the left-hand side called Submit URL. So as you make a new blog post or you put new content up on the internet, you can submit those URLs to Bing, and that's another way to get quickly indexed by Bing. So that's kind of neat. Uh, those are sort of interesting here. Now the other stuff I'm not going to go in uh, to lots of detail. Again, on the, on the uh, blog post I go through and sort of talk about things you want to look at. So let's look at reports and data. So over here, reports and data on the left, and then there's some features in here that I've got sort of you to go and, and drill into. So we're in the reports and data tab, and let's look at page traffic, search keywords, inbound links. So page traffic down here, click on that guy there. We'll let that load. And then this, this is sort of what I like here. So of course it tells your clicks from search, appeared in search, click through rate, all that kind of stuff. Take this all with a grain of salt. I've actually measured our performance on Bing, and I think oftentimes the search positions are not particularly accurate. However, look over here on the right-hand side, and this is pretty nifty. On this right-hand side, you can click View for search keywords, and it'll give you an interpretation of what Bing thinks your website is about. Well, here's the idea that's so important. This is a diagnostic. So you put your website in here, and then if you see on the left-hand side, if you see keywords that are relevant, that are keywords that you're going after, you know you've done a good job talking to Bing and talking to Google about what your website is about. So you can see for our keywords, we have social media class, SEO, SEO training, SEO tips. These are all things relevant for a company that does training and teaching and consulting in SEO and social media. So I'm pretty happy with that. That tells me kind of I've done a good job talking to Google. That's really important. Now let's look over here at search keywords. So there's been a lot of scuttlebutt about the Google search keywords tool and how it's not very good. Here's where you start to get some ideas. It's again, Google is looking at your top keywords and you're getting some data about what keywords people are using. So I like that. That's really um, another way to get keyword ideas and see what's working. 
left hand side click on inbound links. The link building aspects, the link aspects are the absolute most important best features of Bing Webmaster Tools. Google's link tools, they used to be terrible. Now they've just kind of gotten to be so-so. They have improved their tools, but Google and Bing have different perspectives on links. Bing has some nice features. So here, are inbound links for our own website. Now look over here what I like. Count of links, you can see essentially what are your most linked to pages? You can see which pages have the highest number of inbound links. Now why is this important? If you're doing a site migration, I can tell that this page here has 62 inbound links. I don't want to mess these pages up. There have some good link activities. You can also click over here on the right and it will tell you who is linking to those particular pages. So it's a really nice way to analyze who links to your website and which pages they link to. That helps you with site migration and a lot of good diagnostics. So that link tool is really, really information, information rich. Then let's go into diagnostics and tools. Again, there's some really nifty features here that Bing has for uh, the webmaster or the small business owner. So you want to set up Bing Webmaster Tools and then drill in and, and look at these um, goodies that they're giving you. So let's look at diagnostics and tools. Keyword research. Now here again, let's let that load. It's a little bit slow to load for us. Here again, Google's keyword tool is under a lot of criticism. It's not particularly good. They've really kind of mucked it up with their transition to the keyword planner. This is another way to get keyword ideas. So you can go in here and you can put in catboarding, whatever you're interested in. You can hit search and this is another way to get those keyword ideas going and you can see catboarding, catboarding kennels, cat clinic, pet. You can see cat and pet. It's got some good ways to get those uh, what I call tomato tomatoes, cat, pet, lawyer, attorney. Google's tool is not very good at that anymore. So I like to use the keyword research tool to kind of get my ideas flowing. What are some good ways to think through some keywords that I then want to target? Excellent tool for free available in Bing Webmaster Tools. Now let's go over here to Link Explorer. This is the very best thing in Bing Webmaster Tools. Google has no equivalent. You have to go to paid tools like OpenSight Explorer or Ahrefs or something like that or Majestic to get the same functionality. Here you can get a lot of great functionality on links for free in the Bing Webmaster Tool Suite. Now, here's what's interesting. You can put your own URL in here. So I can put our own URL here, which has a www in front of it. So I can put our own website, of course, we're focusing on SEO and search engine training and stuff like that. It'll tell me who links to me, but what else can I do? I can put any other website in here and I can, I can explore that website. So I can put in another website here. I can put in, let's put in TulsaWorld.com, my hometown newspaper. So you could put a competitor in here and Bing will happily let you explore who links to that competitor for free. So you can see here Center of the Universe Festival. You can click on that guy right there. It'll take you to the page and then you can go and see who's linking to who. Off you go. It's a great link building tool. You can also click on that URL and you can see who links to that guy. So you can really use the Link Explorer as a great link discovery, link research tool. Google has absolutely nothing like this uh, in its tool suite. So this is probably the really primary reason uh, to do that. Final thing over here on the left is messages and again um, Google and Bing both have done a better job of late letting webmasters know if they're in the doghouse. So you want to sign up for Bing Webmaster Tools and it'll give you some messages if you're in trouble like you've done some black hat SEO or something like that. So that's another reason uh, to sign up. Uh, so that my friends is a good summary of how to find uh, Bing, Bing Webmaster Tools, how to sign up for it, uh, and then a little tour of some of the features in Bing Webmaster Tools that'll be really, really useful for you. On a wrap up, I have a link to the Bing Webmaster Tools blog. So they have a blog where they talk about SEO and Webmaster, so sort of get the official perspective of Bing. And then they also have a nice um, resource section. We'll look at that real quick 
they have a nice resource section like Google's um, Help Center where you get the Bing perspective on how SEO works and what to do. So again, both of these are sort of the official uh, messages, a little bit of the official propaganda, but you do want to use those. Uh, so again, click on the link in the YouTube description for uh, all the uh, links I just looked at. You can go and look at those on the blog. Uh, if you're interested, you can get free copies of our workbooks and all that fun stuff. So of course, we'll try to sell you on taking some of our paid trainings and consulting services. But I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video blog entry on Bing Webmaster Tools. And remember, number two always tries harder. Thank you so much for watching.